Hey everyone, welcome back to a Rock and Tube. Well, I'm Gar, and um, as you've seen by the first little clip before my intro, uh, that was the Therapause Sturmy. So that Sturmy's molted. I left it a couple of weeks now, uh, fed it for the first time. So that's his first feed. Amazing, isn't it? How these guys, right? So it's about this big at the moment, how these guys will become those formidable beasts that they actually are. You know, and uh, if you want to see some more Sturmy, there's plenty more on, on the channel. Just go down to uh, the playlist, and there is a Theraposa playlist there. So that's that's uh, where you can find some of those. I want to um, show you, and it's going to be a shout out to you as well, guys, because I'm going to need some help. Um, I found that uh, if you follow my social media, you'll see I posted a photo earlier on today about um, Seriopogopus Minax. And I went to have a look. Now so I was waiting for her to molt um, before rehousing her. Right, but she stopped eating. Now she's finally molted. Um, probably about a week, two weeks, maybe a little bit more than that ago. So I offered her some food. She's taken it. So that means right, I'm happy in actually when she's finished eating. Obviously, remove her so I can redo her enclosure, and that's what we'll do today. So this is the enclosure I've chosen for um, the Minax's Forever Home. It's a large glass uh, custom aquaria one. So I'll be um, just literally right. There's no building of an enclosure, is there, for um, for something like a Minax? Be just because it's going to be uh, as much mud as I can fit into that. So it's just going to be a huge glass jar full of mud. Hopefully we'll be able to see some kind of uh, burrow being constructed or done the side of it. Um, but yeah, so I'll fill this with mud. I'm not going to bother showing you that because I'm sure you can all fill the tub with mud. No worries. Okay, and voila! Okay, so like I said, huge amount of uh, mud dust about 12, about between 12 and 13 inches. And then on the top, we've got, I've constructed a burrow there, started one off, and I put a ton of leaf litter on top right now because Cyberbogopus in the wild will incorporate an absolutely shit ton of leaf litter into their burrow construction. So the entrance of the burrow will be like, uh, camouflaged and um, structured with leaves and all kinds of things that are on the floor so that should look pretty cool I'm just going to soak this down now uh, the leaves they're all nice and wet they're a bit crispy and then uh, she can go in that for the rest of her days and I like that there's something satisfying to me being a weirdo about a giant tub of mud Okay, so now it's at this point, right, that uh, I'm going to share one of the biggest tips um, ever for doing rehousings and stuff, right? What you need to do is make sure you set up your your um, enclosure before you think about rehousing your spider. That's, and that can be transferred, if you think about it, to when um, 
you're getting a spider. You've got a spider ordered online or whatever, or you've got a spider come in. You've bought a new one. You've got a new animal come in. Even before it arrives in the house, set up that enclosure. I mean, think about it this way as well, right? So if you if you have a rough idea of the size of the spider, right? Set up the enclosure like you would for that size. And if for, for any reason it turns up and it's bigger and it needs a bigger enclosure, you can always pop it into that one as a temporary measure while you make up another one. So in the past, obviously when, you know, I'm rushed or something, I have actually, um, I put the spider out into a tub and I'll leave the spider at the side and then I'll start doing the enclosure. But, you know, in an ideal world, we want to get its tub made up first. Look at that dingbat. She's trying to mate with her while she's eating. A gob full of um, tubby roach, and he's like, Come on, come on. She's like, I'm not into it. Come on, he's going under. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I would. Um, So I would massively suggest uh, a pair of tongs and I would massively suggest as well an enormous catch cup so this is Cyberpagopus Minax like I said right I've labeled this um, Cyberpagopus uh, CF Minax or Cyberpagopus CF Cyberpagopus Minax and the reason being is that taxonomically uh, there are a lot of different spiders that are brought into the uh, to the UK well to Europe the UK through imports that are labeled as Minax but are actually just in the Minax grouping and there's a there's a few different ones so you've got that like um uh, you know, Minax Big Black, and there's lots of different Minaxes. And it's important, really, that um, you... I've got the flies of fucking Tim Um If you want to breed them, you really should try and keep them together um, on by import, uh, by location. You're not going to know location so much, I suppose, unless you, um, you know, are in the place and you collect them yourself, which, you know... Is uh, not not going to happen. But other than that, like this is a 2020 um, Spider Shop import. So uh, she's molted now, and I'm looking for a male. That's kind of like the shout out I wanted to make at the start of the uh, video. If you've got any offspring, so mature males that have come from one of the imports of the spider shop in 2020 i know it's asking a lot but that would be preferable to me i would i will buy it no problem at all i'll do a 50 50 shit i'll give you gold teeth a rusty trombone anything no worries let's uh let's get it done anyway now. I'm going to use right like normal people would use that side of the tongs. Now I don't want to poke or pull her or catch her or anything like that, so let's use the flat paddle bit of the tongs in the back. I've got a feeling she's going to go absolutely tits. Oh, she's still eating. So that's not. Oh, that's all right. Oh, she is stunning, man. Absolutely stunning. 
from a tiny little thread pose at me, the tiniest thread pose ever. That is, have you seen these go nuts? These go tits, absolutely bonkers, right? But that is really, really tidy. So I should just be able to, nah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you can thread pose at me if you want. It doesn't matter. I'll give you a food again in a second. It's fine. There we are. That's the Minox that I know. There we are. Give me a bit of, give me a bit of hassle. No, go in there. Right, sound. So, spiders really, really, really shouldn't cause any problems. Right, you know, for instance, okay, Minox. Cyripagopus, Haplopelma, whatever you want to call them, any um, Ornithopton and I that you want to try and catch will stand there and fight. They won't run. They'll stand there, so you know exactly what you what what needs to happen. So you got something like um, okay, something flighty like Pteranoculus, will run and bite at the same time. Postletheria will just run and hide. These things are programmed to act in a certain way. And once you realise how they're going to act, you don't ever need to panic, and that's when you make mistakes. That's the only time... That you are ever in danger with a tarantula is when you start flapping. All right, so, so let's get a catch cup lid. And look, I'm walking away. She's in the there now, and I'm literally walking away, getting a lid, and coming back because I know there's no problem. <laughs> Yeah, that was my, my fault. My finger was in the way. Come on, in you go. All right, it's okay. Now this, see, is my Nax view, right? So I can just pop the lid back on. This time, be a bit more careful with my fingers. But that's absolute, uh, that's irony, isn't it? As I was explaining to you that there are no balls there whatsoever, I get a strike. But hey, that's what opening the Minox is all about. I love these guys so much. They're so black, they're almost blue. I know it's a stupid thing to say. But wow. Normally, I would probably have the camera and, uh, you know, have the spider out and about. But I really don't um, want to mess around with my Minox uh, running around the house. So, yeah. This is proper here. And why would you want to mess around and you know, push her in and nothing like that? You just open the lid. She's going to go tits. Yep, there we go. So, open the lid. I'm going to get a bite, yeah. Come on, bite. Right. And then, I'm not going to, yeah, okay, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if the camera can hear it. She's stridulating. Well, let's just uh, go, pop her in like that. So I've got my lid ready. She should just start to go on the floor. Go on. Oh, it's okay. Well, I'm going to need to. Let's 
It's okay. Yeah, right. No, you can't see now, but somewhere in the middle there, I have made a burrow for her. So yeah, there's a burrow started and she will probably sort that out in a bit. So let's pop the lid on. And it's a nice heavy lid as well. Because they are a strong, strong spider and they will push most lids off. But I, it's got a nice jam in there. So, I leave this overnight now, okay? Now, all my spiders, every single one of them, even if they are a, a fossorial spider, so an obligate burrower, so they, you know, even if they're right down in here, they'll have a water bowl in it. I'm hoping that some of this will be uh, all used. I will check in, let's like, say, tomorrow, probably, maybe the day after, and um, pop the water bowl in. And leave it there and it's probably web up all over it and doesn't even use it but it's there okay so while we're here there's a food bolus there but we're not interested in the food bolus what we're interested in is this uh, this malt okay she's wrapped that up really wrapped it up It's a big old malt for um, Cyrupagopus, fair play. Yep, so. So thank you for watching guys. I've been feeling the love recently, which is awesome. I uh, had a really long spell of uh, videos doing like 50 views, which was fine. I don't do it. I like the spiders, don't get me wrong. But then when you do a few, you know, with a couple of thousand, then you do uh, another couple with the 500s. And that's what I like to see you make me happy. So cheers. Thank you, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, remember, there is a channel membership um, and they, they get a you know, WhatsApp group so you can speak to me and, um, you know, I've done some members videos and that shit and you get, like, wristbands and all that good bollocks. Um, but until next time, stay safe.